Okay, guys, today I'm going to review the Radler or Radler, I don't know how to pronounce it, Trail Camp Shoe from Timberland. And this is it here. I'm not sure if the color is coming out good, but these are orange. They're definitely orange color. And as you can see, the main point of these shoes is they are foldable. And as you can see here, I'm going to actually do it. It has a zipper here, and the zipper runs all the way around the shoe, except at the joint, you know, that, that's where it zips up. So basically what you do is you cram them in there, and then you've got this zipper here, and you just zip them in like that. And it's not that difficult, it's a little tricky, but once you get it, it's okay. And there you go, you've got a shoe folded in there, and you got a little hanging, hanging hook there, whatever. So, anyway, the main reason I bought these shoes is because I kind of like, I'm really starting to like neutral heel shoes. They feel really good for me. And this is just another pair to try. And I got them on sale at the kind of Timberland outlet they have here. And my first impression with these is, oh, let me just tell you the name because the name is weird. They're called the Radler or Radler Trail Camp from Timberland. So anyway, you can look them up and you can, you know, check out where you're going to get them or whatever. Sorry. And... Basically, this folding thing to me is kind of a gimmick, and I don't quite understand. They kind of advertise it as you can go hiking, and then when you reach your campsite, you can pop these bad boys out, and it's good for your feet to relax in, or, you know, out in your yard, doing a barbecue or whatever. But the thing to me that I don't get is when you fold them up, like, okay, so they're packable, right? you're gonna fold them up and then you're gonna put this in your luggage or your backpack uh, the dirty part or the part you walk around in I mean you know it's it's gonna be you gotta put them in another bag if you don't want them to be touching your clean stuff or even your dirty stuff I don't want to put shoe dirt in to any of my clothes really so I don't quite get that like I was thinking why don't they make it so that they fold this way at least that way you know this part would be a little more clean or do they expect you to wash this every time you fold it and pack it that seems like a little too much labor intensive intensiveness to make them worth carrying around for your camping experience but anyway maybe someone who's into camping can explain this to me better maybe I'm just ignorant about something having to do with camping uh, so the folding thing is a little bit of a gimmick to me and the second thing about the folding is it comes with a zipper okay so the zipper has a pull the pull touches the ground at all times imagine for a moment if you will that you've gone camping and now I don't know how many I've gone camping a few times not hardcore but you know a little bit you know tent mud dirt think about it this thing is gonna wick dirt I don't know about you but I've never really seen a clean camp toilet in my life and you imagine going to the toilet wearing these and this thing you know guys stand in front of the ur ur urinal and they this thing is gonna collect pee if there's pee on the floor I, I mean I'm sorry to say it but that's just the truth this thing is gonna collect dirt mud whatever's on the ground or the floor it's going to suck it up. And so, in fact, I'm going to cut this off as soon as this video is over. I just wanted to show you. And the other thing is that this lip, uh, it I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lip there where the zipper goes up for them to fold into, right? So there's a lip there when you're walking around. And I don't know if you can see that, but this lip collects dirt. Uh, I wore it to work one day, and I, I worked... Uh, there's wood and sawdust in my work occasionally so 
and you can see it already collected some but it collected a lot and it also collected some dirt when I was outside loose stones and stuff so I'm not too thrilled with this kind of design and the Timberland claims there's like a kind of fleece in here which there is and as you can see it looks like carpet pad underlay or you know the stuff you put under carpet to make it extra soft but it has already come loose I don't know if it's supposed to or not I can't see any glue in there but the bottom the the bottom that's in there is like kind of a nylonish type of feel or polyester or something like that it's not too bad uh, I haven't tried wearing it without it but I've noticed that this thing uh, slides around a lot in it now that it's come loose I guess it was glued down at first uh, so it's comfy it's nice but you can't walk too hard in them because this thing will slide around so I'm either going to figure a way to stick this back down or I'm going to remove it and see how that feels and maybe just wear them with socks uh, I've walked about 10k in them they're pretty comfortable and uh, I got them on sale at the Timberland outlet near my place and they were the last pair in size 12 and that's a little big for me but Timberland's always different for me. Sometimes I'm 11, sometimes 11 half, 12, and that's if they have those sizes, which they don't always. But I was so lucky, I got these, I think it was the equivalent of like 30 US on sale at the outlet, and it was the last pair, and they, before this, I saw them in Timberland for like 60, 70 bucks at US, and they were only orange, yellow, and black, and bright, orange and yellow. I don't know if you can see the color well. The lighting here is not good. But now they have a lot more cool colors and I saw red on the internet and they have some like designs. So that they're pretty nice. The, the outlook is pretty good and basically uh, as I said I got them because they've got a neutral heel. They're quite comfortable to walk around in and so they're kind of a minimalist shoe I guess you could say although they're more like an indoor outdoor slipper. I think that's the best way to describe them. And in, in a way, that's the way they're advertised as an indoor-outdoor slipper. Although, like I said, this thing doesn't make sense. And they claim they're waterproof. I haven't tested it yet, but the, the, sorry, the tongue is not attached to the, you know, the material of the shoe. The tongue is completely separate. Oh, yeah, there you can see it. So this part might be waterproof but if it's raining uh, you know, hopefully you'll stay in at your tent when it's raining if you use these for camping but the rain's gonna just drip right down in there and I can't imagine that this wouldn't collect water but they claim they're waterproof I guess the bottom's waterproof uh, that being said uh, they're pretty comfy shoes I've walked about 10 kilometers in them outside I don't really need slippers in my place, but I wear them on weekends and for short walks, and I guess I've totaled 10K, the longest walk being about 5K, and a bunch of short walks outside, but I'm pretty much going to stick to these for weekend, around, home, you know, outside, but just walking short distances or going to the mall, whatever. That's pretty much it. They're, they kind of stand out, like when you wear them, they're kind of bright, so... If you don't mind, that's cool. And it's got a nice, this is one cool thing. It's got string laces, which is pretty cool, but it's got this nice, uh, you know, you can tie them up with that. So they're pretty easy on off. And this thing, when it's tied for me, the only thing I can say is that this string also gets down to that level. But that, I've had that problem with shoelaces and I just tuck it, you know, inside if it's hanging out too much. So you can avoid the same problem as this. So anyway, there you got it. It's called the Radler or Radler R-A-D-L-E-R -E Trail Camp from Timberland. And you see the Timberland there? They're quite nice. So try them if you like them, if you really need. And like I said, I think this folding bit is quite a gimmick. But if somebody's got, can leave, can explain this to me in the comments down there I would be very appreciative and please subscribe to my site and I will try to remove review more shoes for you and there you go enjoy